Hello. In this video, we are going to prove the following theorem. The arctangent function is a strictly increasing function. Now, first of all, let's remind ourselves of our definition of the arctangent function. Let r be any real number and consider the following sequence. Then we have shown that the sequence 2 to the n rn converts. And we defined the value that this sequence converges to to be the arctangent of r. And some properties we proved about the arctangent function include the following. If r is greater than 0, then the arctangent of r is greater than 0. And if r is less than 0, then arctangent of r is less than 0. We also proved that the arctangent function is an odd function, which means we proved that the arctangent of negative r is equal to the negative of arctangent of r for all real numbers r. And another thing that we proved was in addition formula, which is the following. We proved, given any two real numbers s and t, such that s t is less than 1, then the arctangent of s plus the arctangent of t is equal to the arctangent of s plus t over 1 minus s t. Okay, so now let's get into proving this theorem. Now, we're trying to prove that the arctangent function is a strictly increasing function. And what that means is, we're trying to prove given any two real numbers x and y, if x is less than y, then the arctangent of x is less than the arctangent of y. So to prove that, let's give ourselves two real numbers x and y, such that x is less than y. From here, we want to show that the arctangent of x is less than the arctangent of y. To prove that, we're going to split this up into two cases. Either negative xy is less than 1, or negative xy is greater than or equal to 1. Let's first consider the case negative xy is less than 1. In this case, we're just going to apply the arctangent sum formula. We'll take s to be negative x, we'll take t to be y. With this choice of s and t, we have the arctangent of negative x plus the arctangent of y is equal to the arctangent of negative x plus y over 1 minus negative x times y. Now, let me just re-express the numerator as y minus x, and let me re-express the denominator as 1 plus xy. So we have this. But then, let's notice, since x is less than y, certainly y minus x is bigger than 0. And since negative xy is less than 1, certainly 1 plus xy is greater than 0. So we're taking the arctangent of a positive number. Well, remember, that implies that the arctangent of that number is bigger than 0. Right? But then, using the fact that arctangent is an odd function, we know that arctangent of negative x is equal to the negative of arctangent of x. So we have that 0 is less than negative arctangent of x plus arctangent of y. So now let's just add arctangent of x to the other side. And so we have that arctangent of x is less than arctangent of y, which is exactly what we wanted. So this completes the case where negative xy is less than 1. Now let's consider the case where negative xy is greater than or equal to 1. Well, then if we multiply negative 1 on both sides, we get that xy is less than or equal to negative 1, which is less than 0. So since x times y is less than 0, this tells us that x and y must have opposite signs. In other words, either x is positive and y is negative, or x is negative and y is positive. Those are the only two possibilities. But we must have that x is negative and y is positive, since x is less than y.
And now, since x is less than 0, it follows that our tangent of x is less than 0. Since y is greater than 0, it follows that our tangent of y is greater than 0. And so we see that our tangent of x is less than our tangent of y. And so this completes all cases. What we see here is, given any two real numbers, x and y, if x is less than y, then r tangent of x is less than r tangent of y. And that proves that the r tangent function is a strictly increasing function. And so this completes the proof. And so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video.